Today we are making Thomas Keller style zucchini. We're gonna put a miso spin onto this. So you need one tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, two tablespoons of white miso, and a half a cup of mirin. That's actually a teaspoon of soy sauce, correction. We're gonna start chopping the zucchini. I like to just tip and tail it, and then we're going to cut down the sides just so it sits flat. You could leave it rounded, but then it, it may just roll over. So I do this just to make it a lot easier for it to stand on itself. But this step is completely optional, just helps it. Then I'm going to cut this in half. You can cut, cook this long way if you really want, but I'm gonna cut it into quarters just to make each half a little more manageable. So we're gonna do four quarter halves versus just two down the middle. A lot easier this way. And then the important, this is what makes it Thomas Keller style. We're going to deeply score it, pan fry it, and then oven cook it. So I use the chopsticks here as just a guide that way you don't cut all the way through the zucchini, but you could just do it by eye also. I like to just have them at least on one side of the knife just to stop you from going too deep. But just do a nice little cross pattern and very easy. After that, we're gonna salt them and let them rest for 10 minutes. You can heavily salt them at this point because this is not what you're cooking with. This is to draw the moisture out. So let those sit for 10 minutes and you could tell they've really sweated out a lot of their moisture. So just dab that off. That's gonna make sure they get nice color on them real easily without letting too much moisture out. Get a pan ready, nice little olive oil down there and then lay these cut side down. And we're gonna saute these in high heat for about two minutes until they start to get some nice browned color. This is exactly what we're going for. You don't need a much more brown than that, but just make sure that they are somewhat evenly browned. It's sometimes hard to get the ends just because they don't lay completely flat, but that's what you're going for. And now put these into an oven at 425, facing up, face at the side you just sauteed up. Now we're gonna add all of our ingredients here into your pan and we're gonna make some sort of glaze per se. It's a very thick syrupy glaze, but you're not really cooking it on it. So it's, it's more of kind of an over sauce, but this is a, a miso glaze per se. Get that in, mix it all together. You wanna see it start to come together. Make sure you're getting the miso really mixed in well. You gotta kind of compress it and break it up. And once you do that, you'll see it start to thicken. When it gets right about where you want it, turn the heat off and wait until the end and we're gonna reheat it up a bit. So now I've had it back on the heat for another minute. I pull the zucchini out and I glaze them nicely with it. Really get a nice coating on each one of them. And then we're gonna throw it back under the broiler for about a minute or two just to kind of caramelize it the last little bit. And there we are coming out of the broiler. They look absolutely fantastic. They are nice and cooked through. They still have a little bit of bite, which I like. I topped them with a last little bit here of the sauce, but you could tell they've browned a little bit. They cut through like butter. They are absolutely delicious. This is a great umami kick to make this. It takes your zucchini to the next level. And you could do the same cooking style without the miso, but I definitely recommend this.